Hey everyone, I'm Morty from eifee.com. Uh, to those of you that don't know my website, it's an inspiration uh, website for Elementor. I, I just collect the best Elementor website I can find online. Um, you can just scroll through it. There's some amazing examples here. You can also uh, filter it by categories or specific colors. And also you can send your own websites if you want to put them in here. And also I do a lot of experiments with Elementor, so I thought I just will share those experiments with you. Um, I will give you the files, you can download the, the exported uh, templates for these experiments. You can use them for free in your own uh, websites. So what we will be doing today is, let me show you, it's this nice effect. Uh, it's basically stroke effect, you can see. It looks amazing, but it's not complicated. It's actually very, very easy. And I'll show you today how to uh, create it. Okay, let's just jump straight to it. Um, this is an Elementor canvas. Just I don't need a header or footer for those experiments, so it's just an, an empty canvas. Um, I'll create a new uh, section, full width, set the height to 100 uh, from the viewport height, background color, black. Okay, now we want to put the image. It's the image. Maybe made it make it a bit smaller, like thirty percent. And I don't want it in the middle, so I want to push it to the right. I'll just add uh, minus fifteen here and fifteen here. That way, it just moves to the side, but it stays the same uh, size. So that's the image. Now, let's go heading. Text. OK, this is the header. White color. Just Make it pretty. Maybe bigger. Bone. That's about it. We want to set the positioning to custom to one hundred percent of the width. And Absolute. Want to push it a bit to the side and down. You can just make it however you want. This is what I found uh, works nice. So that's the text. Now, the whole idea is that we create one layer under the image and another one above the image. So we'll duplicate this heading. So now we need to set the layers on the Z index. So the first one will be one, it's under the image. The image will be two. And the second heading will be three. So we have three layers, text, image, text. Now the top image, the top uh, uh, text widget, we need to make it transparent. Now to add the stroke effect, it's not something natively uh, that you can do in Elementor, so we need just a really, really short line of code. So in the CSS classes, write stroke, and in the custom CSS, you just put and this very, very short code and here we go. You can see it's, it already works. So this uh, CSS targets the H2. 
so you need to check that your sorry so you need to check that your uh, heading is h2 and if it's something else then you need to change it here in the code also this is the uh, stroke width you can make it bigger smaller and of course the color you can change the color here that's about it that's the effect very straightforward very simple now we need to make it a little better with animation so uh, let's give it uh, horizontal scroll want it to really move when you scroll the page to maximum stand and I want it to fade in but I want the fading to be uh, really short so we set it to about 30 and 35 now if you put an animation that is like 5 maximum 10 percent it will look like uh, entrance animation but the entrance animation only goes in once and this one will just go back and forth while you scroll the page actually i just want to add a section here just so, so i can make a full scroll and show you the, the page maybe not maybe i'll just add some uh, adding to the whole section maybe like 15 to the top and 15 to the bottom yeah that's enough now we have the effect now we need to give the exact same effect to the other heading everything should be exactly the same with, with those uh, two headings for it to move correctly horizontal it was i think 10 right yes speed 10 transparency Here we go. Very simple. You can add to it whatever you want. I like to add to the image also a little uh, scrolling effect. Maybe a vertical one. Get that uh, 3D effect. It's more pathetic. That's it. If you, want, if you want to create more like the example I showed, you can just duplicate the whole section, take the image, reverse these two numbers to move it to the other side. So 15 and minus 15. Then you just change the text to your needs. Remember to do everything exactly the same, so they will be um, identical. That's it. Pretty simple. I hope you liked it. Let me know in the comments. And um, if you want me to make more of these uh, experiments, share them with you. I'll put a link to download the JSON file so you can import it to your own Elementor uh, website and use it for yourself. And uh, that's it. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.